Acromial clavicular injuries result from a blow to the point of the shoulder. This is especially common among young, active people who sustain sports injuries, such as a fall onto the shoulder. The injury results in immediate pain. While the entire shoulder may hurt, pain eventually localizes to the acromioclavicular joint. Some people seek care after noticing a deformity. The shoulder is tender at the acromioclavicular joint. There is frequently a deformity at the AC joint caused by the prominent end of the clavicle where it has separated from the acromion. Allowing the arm to hang freely puts tension across the damaged ligaments and causes pain. The person often holds the arm against the body for support because taking tension off the AC joint is more comfortable. Shoulder adduction, reaching across the body to the other shoulder, is especially painful. If an AC separation is suspected, x-rays of the shoulder should be obtained. In type 1 injuries, the x-rays may appear normal. In type 2 and more severe injuries, the end of the clavicle is displaced in relation to the acromion. The position of the clavicle and the amount of separation are used to grade the severity of the injury. Sometimes a stress view is helpful. The x-ray is taken while the injured person holds a weight to accentuate the separation. Stress views may be helpful to evaluate type 3 injuries if surgery is being considered or if an AC separation is suspected but not visible on the initial x-rays but they are not obtained routinely because they put extra tension across the injured joint and cause unnecessary discomfort. Type 1 AC injuries occur when the acromioclavicular ligament is stretched and partially torn but not completely disrupted. The acromioclavicular joint remains stable. The arm is placed in a sling to put the shoulder at rest. Ice is applied to the AC joint as needed. Over the next one to two weeks, shoulder range of motion can be advanced as tolerated and sports can be resumed. Type 2 AC injuries occur when the acromioclavicular ligament is completely torn. This allows more movement at the AC joint and the elevation of the clavicle is more evident on x-rays. The arm is placed in a sling or shoulder immobilizer for two to four weeks. Range of motion exercises can begin at that time but strenuous shoulder activity is avoided for 6 to 12 weeks. Type 3 AC injuries occur when the acromioclavicular ligament and coracoclavicular ligaments are completely torn. This results in more instability. The clavicle is 100% displaced from the acromion. Treatment is usually non-operative, but surgery may be considered for athletes, heavy lifters, and those who would prefer a scar over the AC joint as opposed to a deformity. Type 4 AC injuries occur when the ligaments that stabilize the acromioclavicular joint are completely torn and the clavicle is pushed backwards into the trapezius muscle. This injury requires surgical repair. Type 5 AC injuries occur when the ligaments that stabilize the acromioclavicular joint are completely torn and the deltoid and trapezius muscles are torn away from the clavicle. The scapula droops downward, preventing the shoulder from healing. This injury requires surgical repair. Type 6 AC injuries occur when the ligaments and muscles that stabilize the acromioclavicular joint are torn and the clavicle is dislocated and lodged underneath the coracoid. This injury requires surgical repair.